will show you uh, how to play, play chess to salvation uh, and it's a really 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 powerful tool uh, we have seen that and I, I have led a lot of people to Christ uh, to this uh, way of preaching the gospel and, and also we teach a lot of, taught a lot of other people to do it so uh, probably I've seen thousands of people come to Christ just to, <clears throat> to do this with them because we need to uh, help people to take the first step, a choice. So first we heal the sick, then we preach the gospel, and, and uh, some, it's very good to to to, uh, to do this because then you actually encourage the person you're preaching to uh, to take the steps by themselves. So you take them step by step. So if you watch this video, uh, memorize it, and and, uh, and I think it's going to be a great encouragement to you, and I think you will lead a lot of people to Christ also. So enjoy this video. To be continued. So first I move, then you move, then I move, then I move, then I move, then I move. Can I do that? No. No? Why can't I do that? It's against the rules. It's against the rules. Yes. It's not, it's, it's his turn. I can only uh, move one. Then I move, not the most. Then I move, and so on. You continue like this until the game is over. Now we move back again. So now we're going to place chest of salvation. So now we pretend that I'm God. Don't cut that out now and put it on YouTube. I'm God or something. <laughs> I always think about that, you know. If the tick you know, oh, look, he's doing it, you know. We're getting to the point. <laughs> Don't do that. I've seen that stuff. They do it with Ben and and all this. You know, they cut it out, put it together, like it's just oh, terrible. It's terrible stuff. So. We pretend I'm God now, and and uh, you know God is so good. So He created the world, the universe. He created everything. He created us. You know, He made everything perfect. It was good. But something happened, because God, you know, love is free. It's a free choice. So God has not made us robots. So He actually said He did something. He put some rules, and the rule He put, gave to Adam and Eve was this: if you eat of the tree tree of good of evil. Through your knowledge that is in the garden, you will surely die. Don't do that. That's the only thing I require from you. You can do everything else, but don't do that. If you do that, it's going to be trouble. And what happened? Men fell in sin. So now we have a problem. You know, man was walking in peace with God in the garden. Suddenly, there's a crack between now. We're separated from God, from the glory of God, because he's seen in the world. But God is a good God. He loves us. He's amazing. So he decided directly that he's going to become man. He's going to become Jesus Christ. So he would pay the price for sin. So God, he's, he's moved now. Because we made a move. We sinned. God is gracious. He loves us. So he sent his son and he became man. He took everything on him, you know. The, the, the sicknesses. The pains, the sins, all the evil, everything. He restored everything to Jesus Christ. The victory on the cross. So God has made his move. But now you're sitting there waiting and for God to move. Because you say, okay, give me 10,000 euros in my account. Then I will come to you. Bring my girlfriend back in to, my, to, my, in my, to me. Then I, then I will come to you. If you do that, God, I will come to you. You're waiting for God to move to make a sign. But he's waiting for you. He cannot. He wants to, want to do it. He wants to bless you. He wants to give you a good life. But you must repent from your sins. You must accept what Jesus Christ has done for you. And the price is for I can promise you one thing. If you do that, if you accept what he's done for you, your eyes will be open. You will see. And he will forgive you your sins. So, do you want to take that step? Do you want to accept the free gift of God and just be forgiven for your sins? Sounds like a good move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then you do it this. God forgives your sins. He loves you so much. Can I pray for you? You put your hand on them. Thank you, Father God, that you open my, my friend's eyes here now. Thank you, Father God, that we continue now. Thank you for touching right now. You will see what's going to happen. Most tears are falling. It's very seldom that doesn't tear because the eyes are open. You know? So now God made his move. He forgave his sins. Now it's time to continue. Tell about baptism. Tell about what you need to do. How to all these things. So, so now actually it says in the Bible that uh, uh, everybody was baptized in the same day. So you, do you want to get baptized in your own faith? 
Yeah. Toward, yeah. Take, make a move. And when you do this, mm -hmm. God will fill you up with the Holy Spirit. It's going to be amazing. <coughs> You're going to be a new creation. You're going to, everything is going to be beautiful. You're going to be, start, start walking with God, and you're just going to have a beautiful mess with God. You're going to send it down. <laughs> so, so, if you really meant what you did here now, your sins are forgiven, you're a new creation in Christ, God, God has given you a new heart. Come on, man, let's go and baptize you. Amen. Amen. Amen.